Glenn McDonald here again with Mark Gessner from, uh, did I pronounce that correctly? You did, you got it. Awesome. Um, at the Northampton International Film Festival. We just screened your awesome short called Guest House. Um, tell me about the experience making it and meeting Aaron and working with them. Oh, it's great. Well, Aaron and I have known each other for, I don't know, 13 years, 14 years at this point. Um, so we've worked together on a bunch of uh, little stuff. This is, I think, the biggest undertaking uh, yet. Uh, and it was really fun. It was like five or six real long days, but it was uh, it was easy. It was an easy role to act because it was uh, it was written really well. And uh, when you're on a you know you're on a set with Michael Gross, like how can you not have a good time? And you know he's just a complete pro. And all of the actors that we worked with were great. So we had a great time. Your character has a very interesting way of uh, getting inspiration yep. and and uh, <laughs> tapping into his inner monologue. Tell me about going through that process as an actor. Well, it's kind of, I mean, like, it's very, there's, like, a lot of it is uh, is pretty sort of fanciful and silly and fun. And, like, the idea that, uh, but you have to ground it in something real, you know? Like, so humor is only really funny if it's, uh, it's got to be funny for the audience, but it can't be funny for you as an actor. Because that, in my opinion, that means you're sort of commenting in the moment, and that's not good. You're not being present on set. So, uh, for me, it was like, I was super committed to making that as real as possible, as nuts as that all was. Um, that's no, None of this stuff has ever happened to me, I should tell you that. Um, for, yeah, <laughs> you're like, I don't know if I believe that. Uh, yeah, no, but it was good. It was good. It's an easy part to, to act, because I was surrounded by good actors, and it was written really well for me. Tell us a little bit about um, being in and around the Northampton area. Did you like it um, and the shooting process? Yeah, I love. I've I've been coming around here since I was, uh, I mean, since I was like 18. You know, I've been have friends in the area and family in the area and stuff. And this is just a beautiful part of the world. You know, it's really fun to come here and it's like the, in the fall. Are you kidding? It doesn't get any better than that. Right, with the leaves and the, and yeah. the browns and the greens and the oranges. The it's, oranges. It's, yes, it's the oranges that get me when it comes to uh, foliage. So, what do you got going on next? Uh, uh, I'm doing uh, some web. I'm on a web series called Submissions Only, and uh, I'll be on one coming up called The Residuals, which will be pretty fun. Um, just do, I do a lot of commercial work in New York City, so you'll see me, you know, hawking Bank of America or Verizon or whatever else. Hopefully, oh yes, Bank of America, nice. It's a sponsor. Nailed it. Uh, uh, you know, just some voiceover and TV when I book it, and you know, it's a, it's a good time. It's a good to live in the dream, man. Cool. So are you going to be hanging out with us at the gala later? Hell yeah, I'll be at the gala later. I wouldn't miss the gala. Mark Gessner? I said it right twice, right? Twice in a row. Twice in a row. Boom. There we go.